charged with attacking a jogger in a park. But tonight, several local police departments are taking a closer look at this man. As we first told you at 6 o'clock here yesterday, that investigation uh, includes those investigating the disappearance of Danielle Stizlicki of Farmington Hills. 30-year-old Floyd Galloway from Berkeley is charged with trying to kidnap and rape a woman in Hines Park in Livonia last fall. Ellen Park police are also looking into Galloway, investigating similarities between a sex assault in Ellen Park earlier this month and the one in Livonia. His attorney says Galloway is shocked at the charges. I can't believe a law enforcement agency, or at least like to believe a law enforcement agency wouldn't bring charges based on an open investigation that has never named him publicly. Earlier today, I sat down with the Sislickies at their home in Fowlerville to talk about their daughter's disappearance and the fact Floyd Galloway is now charged in the Heinz Park attack and also named as a person of interest in their daughter's disappearance. Very grateful about the brave individual, the 28 year old woman who went ahead, was able to escape and be able to come forward with her information to make this link. But we still have a lot of focused work ahead of us. So, and I think even with our followers that this is one step, we have many steps to go forward. Um, and I always say that Danielle had her boundaries and Danielle was also very graceful as far as knowing how she presented herself. So I do this with Danielle in mind that we need to remain graceful, that we need to go ahead and stay focused. It's not a witch hunt. You know, I want people to be aware that this will go through its legal channels the way it should be. So the question, who is Floyd Galloway Jr.? Well, he's no stranger to the Sislicki family. In fact, he was a security guard at a Southfield building where Danielle and her mother worked. That's the last place Danielle was seen. Would go ahead and watch you walk to your car um, to make sure that you were okay. Those who knew Floyd Galloway growing up said he was pretty quiet, played basketball and football at Shrine High School in Royal Oak, never seemed to cause any problems. So when we showed him this mugshot of the private school athlete, well, they were shocked. Galloway facing charges of sexual assault and kidnapping from a September attack in Hines Park. At first I didn't believe it because um, it, it didn't sound like him. Also a person of interest in the disappearance of Danielle Stizlicki. I'm just hoping that he can clear the air for himself as far as what actually happened. Elizabeth Newton has been outspoken for months asking her brother-in-law, Floyd Galloway, to be more helpful in the investigation into Danielle's disappearance. She did things we couldn't do and we all have a moral compass. This Berkeley house is where Galloway lived at the time Danielle disappeared. Sources telling me a mattress, floorboards, his car, and other items were removed by police and sent to the lab for DNA testing. Today, neighbors didn't want to speak on camera, but one told us, quote, is very unnerving and feels better he is at least in custody. Shocked he is named as a person of interest in Danielle's disappearance, and very upset he's charged in the Heinz Park attack. It is important to note the combined evidence collected from both investigations led Livonia police to arrest Galloway. Farmington Hills police won't be specific about what evidence, though. Please tell me they have talked to Galloway about Danielle's disappearance, conducted more than 60 search warrants, and plan on doing more searches in the near future. Stay with Local 4 for continuing coverage of this evolving investigation. Right now at ClickOnDetroit.com, you can view a timeline of the Stislicki case dating back to her disappearance on December 2nd of last year.